Android TV is an incredible home entertainment OS at the heart of many TV projector and home theater setups for millions across the globe. And while Android TV itself, and by extension, the recent Google TV overhaul for selected devices is great as is, it can, with just a few apps, be even better. So here are our top Android TV apps for you for 2022. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. If you do have an Android TV set-top box or even a Chromecast with Google TV dongle, you might run into storage and file management issues right out of the gate. An essential app for both Android smartphones and TV set-top boxes by large to help you get to grips with any files though is FX File Explorer. There is more to this file management system than just general file management. Because Google has refrained from making a dedicated drive app for Android TV, FX File Explorer actually offers you an opportunity to link directly to your existing cloud storage account and more than that, other accounts from other providers. If you do happen to have videos, images and other media stored in your online Google account, FX gives the option to play and view these with a great interface on top of that to boot, which we think makes this an essential for anyone out there wanting to share more than just files. In conjunction with a good file management application, you should definitely take a look at Send Files to TV. Basically, this app is a godsend when you want to send and receive files between your Android TV devices and your smartphone and tablet, for instance. Normally, this can be a laborious process that requires cables or even USB drives and SD cards to get a file from your phone to your TV system. Using a local network, though, you can connect directly to your phone or from your TV to your phone with send files to TV and bypass this frustration. This allows you to just share all kinds of file type too. And if you want to sideload applications, then grabbing an APK file and sending it over is kind of light work for this easy to grasp system. It helps as well that the interface is just also super easy to grasp with just two options to choose to send and then choose to receive. Considering just how many streaming services out there are vying for your hard earned money, the usage of a home media server will be alien to many but for those in the know, Plex is among the very best solutions for managing any of your downloaded and curated media. It also seems to work with any media you have stored locally, which is great if you do plug in a hard drive full of old movies and TV shows, as the Plex app is capable of automatically sorting and categorizing with the actual user input being fairly minimal. There are some paid tier options, but overall Plex offers a great alternative for people out there that prefer to self-manage their media collections rather than use paid for streaming services. Personally, I consider Button Mapper to be a must have Android TV app as it allows me to actually fine tune a remote to work just how I want it to. The simple explanation of what Button Mapper does is to let you adjust what each button on your physical remote can do. By adding the ability to double tap and long press each individual button, you can do just more with even basic or limited remotes than they would be capable right out of the box. On top of that, a one-time fee does unlock some more options and customization controls, but it is worth every penny if you are frustrated with your Android TV remote as is. RetroArch is one for the gamers out there itching to play some classic titles from their favorite consoles. Effectively, a bundle of the most popular emulators all rolled into one package, RetroArch lets you load ROMs, hook up and configure all of your favorite peripherals and manage a massive array of consoles and gaming titles in an easy to use manner. Everything from classic arcade titles to PS2 and even Wii U games can be emulated here, especially as most Android TV boxes do have a little bit more grunt under the hood than you would expect. App and game performance though will depend heavily upon your actual Android TV hardware though. If you wanna play a glut of 3D systems available, you may need to be wary that performance may vary from device to device. That said, once you get things up and running, it's a treasure trove of entertainment for fans of almost all gaming eras. You will though need to learn how to use the app, but once you've done that, it's easy enough to get your head around things and enjoying some of the best games you might not have played for a long, long time. So not everybody out there has an Android phone and that's okay because with AirScreen, you can use an iOS device to cast and screen mirror with consummate ease. AirScreen basically opens up the AirPlay functionality for iOS and macOS hardware on your Android TV devices. And this means that you can screen mirror almost natively without needing an Apple TV set-top box 
under your TV itself. One of the best things here though is that you only need to install AirScreen on your Android TV device itself without needing to open or add an app to your iOS phone or any other iOS devices for that matter. There's also on top of that support for 4K UHD video streaming, which is yet another bonus as you can enjoy content not normally viewable at native resolution on your iPhone or your iPad. Think of TV usage as digital well-being, but for your Android TV set-top box. On your mobile, you can do things like set app and usage limits, but it's much harder to do that on your TV. Basically, TV usage lets you lock your Android TV system with a four digit pin, do things like set screen time and usage hours for specific applications, add install and install protection. Plus there's also a few things under the hood that you might want to take a look at. You're able to access things such as usage charts that let you check on your previous three days of actual TV use. And while this might seem like overkill for most of you out there, it is a great parental control and lets you keep better track of Android TV usage in your home. The ability to set break periods at custom intervals is going to be a worthwhile tool alone as it helps people and children especially stop binge watching and lets you step away from the screen every so often for the betterment of your health. If there's one thing that is really frustrating on TVs especially it's browsing the web and it isn't always fun or intuitive because of the input methods. Sure, you can get fully featured web browsers side loaded that will work just fine, but navigating with a remote can be unwieldy and rather frustrating. If you want a more pleasant, albeit very basic and streamlined experience, then you might want to take a look at TV Bro, which is terribly named, but it is an ideal alternative. It's hard to deny that TV Bro is not the most attractive out there, but it has been fully optimized for a remote based UI with far greater reliability than some other options such as Puffin Browser, at least in our experience. Using the back button actually opens a neat tabbed browser implementation, which is much easier to navigate and manage. There is also a neat inbuilt cursor that makes navigation without needing an external peripheral or by using guesswork that much easier than it would be on other browsers out there. Is there an OS that VLC is not available on just yet? Well, we probably haven't seen it just yet. The media player is undoubtedly an essential Android TV app though, if you care about being able to play all manner of media, no matter the codec or file type. What else is there to say about this versatile media player? Well, it's still completely free with a truly in-depth playback controls available and media auto categorization. Plus there is a definite hint of Google Play Music to the interface that I think some hardcore Google Play Music fans will really, really love. So those are our favorite Android TV apps, but there are a few other notables, including apps such as Steam Link, if you have access to a powerful or not so powerful gaming PC or gaming rig at home and want to be able to play some of your favorite titles on your TV, then you should definitely give Steam Link a try. Well, with this app and another app installed on your PC, you're able to stream the games that you have in your library from your computer to an Android TV box, uh, even on top of that smartphones and tablets. And this does rely heavily upon your internal network conditions and can be spotty the further that you actually get away from your gaming PC. But for anyone who wants to move gaming from a office or even another room in the house to your couch and in front of your TV, then this might be worth a try. A good VPN is almost an essential regardless of what web connected device you do happen to be using. And there are hundreds out there to choose from with varying prices and features available. And we'd suggest that you go out and shop around, but there are numerous options that can be used to access geo restricted content on your Android TV system. And for that reason, we think it's definitely worth taking a look at if you hadn't done so already. Although similar to Plex, but with more of a heavy reliance on plugins and channels, Kodi is great if you want to create a one stop shop for all of your streaming needs, but it can be pretty daunting for first time users or those just wanting access to a few key streaming platforms. With that said, there are hundreds, or if not thousands of great Kodi kind of guides and instructions out there. If you do want to get really in depth with your streaming, Kodi is definitely one to install and take a longer look at. So that's probably everything you need to know about Android TV apps for 2022 and beyond. We might have some more coming out very soon. If you enjoyed this video, we'll take a deeper dive. We want to ask you though, what are your favorite Android TV apps or your must haves? Let us know down in the comments sections below, but we hope this has given you some good ideas for your own home entertainment system. With that said though, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.